Okay, the bus fight. Get ready and watch your backs. We'll leave it to me. Upgrade configured. Something's not right. <laughs> cool. Hey. We're in trouble now. <laughs> Not a scratch. Immortality means for I'm on guard. Lance, forward! Time to twirl! <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> a thousand wonders to raise your... <laughs> Lance at the ready. Lance, forward! Honored to meet me. Do you know who I am? This big diamond! It's all yours! Time for a shot. Nap time. Welcome, customers. I'm on guard. Time to twirl! Naughty child. That's better. Nice teamwork. <laughs> Sacred of the safe. Lance at the ready. <laughs> Lance ablaze. Lance forward! What are you looking at? Time for a shot. <laughs> Merciful Medicus. Let's be friends. I'm on guard. <laughs> a thousand wonders to <laughs> fight as one. Do you know who I am? This big diamond. It's all yours. Time to twirl. I was talking about. Uh-uh-uh. Just sit back and relax. All Amicassiters know their way around the Star Skiff. Oh, I was perfectly calm until she volunteered to help. Please take your seats, everyone. We'll be off right away. Up we go. On behalf of the Skyfaring Commission, allow me to welcome you to Star Skiff Haven. On the Sienjo Lofu, anything relating to aviation, navigation, and trade falls within the scope of the Skyfaring Commission, which is one of the six commissions of the Lofu. As the biggest port on the ship, Star Skiff Haven is governed by the Skyfaring Commission, too. You definitely sound like a. Uh, what was it again? Oh, Pammy Cassiter! By which I mean, nice speech. That's too kind of you. My job involves ferrying business delegates to and from Starskiff Haven, so I do this kind of introduction all the time. Anyway, we're safe now. Normally, I'd be a good host and take you around, but these are difficult times. Let's head to the Palace of Astrum first and report your arrival to Madame Yukong. Palace of Astrum? 
right there, the tallest building in the city. It's also the headquarters of the Skyfaring Commission. Let's hurry, we haven't got much time. I don't mean to rush you, but if Madame Yukong holds me accountable for not getting you over soon enough, I wouldn't want to be around for the consequences. Sounds scary. I thought you said she was kind-hearted. We need to make a few preparations before paying a visit to any of the six commissions. Rest assured, Miss Tingyun, we won't go anywhere. If you can inform Madame Yukong of our arrival first, we'll meet you at the palace entrance later. Very well. <laughs> Little Miss Fox moves at quite the pace. I can't keep up with her. <sighs> I've spent too long on the bench. Let's catch our breath for a while, huh? We can expect a packed schedule ahead. That might be a little harsh, but she does put her own interests first. She did the right thing by not trusting us initially. We were an unknown quantity to her. As for the rush, uh, my guess is she's just eager to get us out of her hair and further up the chain. It'll be all right. We're not trying to stand in her way. We have nothing to hide from her. <laughs> we didn't have anything to hide in Bellabog either. Not so fast. I need to give you two a heads up first. Our meeting with Madame Yukon won't be without risk. We need to be prepared and take it seriously. She is a top Sienjo leader. Oh, Mr. Yang, do you think this could be Bellabog all over again? Wow, they actually... I'm actually surprised of the writing, like... These people are already used to all these scenarios. No, the Sienjo Alliance is better than that. But Madame Yukong will definitely have a string of difficult questions for us. Why did we choose to come to the Sienjo now? How did we know that the incident is related to Estelleron? Who leaked their information to us? Careless answers mean distrust and potential hostility, which would make things much harder for us. Ah, oh, crud. One of us is going to blurt something out, or get something wrong, I just know it! Ah, <sighs> see? Don't worry, we'll find a way through. Let me do the talking. Jin is now calling us? I, this is kind of job, uh, isn't it? Oh, 
you're here already. Sorry to keep you waiting. Madame Yukong is expecting you. Are you not coming? I've brought the Madame Helmmaster up to speed. It's over to you now. Yes, madam. Report the losses to General Jingyuan and find someone from the Divination Commission. They can't just stand there watching while we deal with this mess. Greetings, guests from the Astral Express. Wow, Jingwei's mother is hot. And yeah, she's gonna be playable compared to Kataya. How I know that? Because of the anime trailer the release not too long ago. But man, she looks beautiful. Ting Yun has informed me of the purpose of your visit. Receiving guests isn't normally one of my responsibilities. But since you know about the Stellaron and have stated that you want to help the Law Fu, I thought I should at least meet you in person and politely decline your proposal. Where are we die, let's go to the next station. The Sienjo Alliance knows what a Stellaron is and is more than capable of handling it ourselves. We have been around for over 8,000 years and weathered countless dangers and crises. While the situation is serious, we have more than enough resources to spare. Outsider help is not needed on this occasion. You are guests from afar. There is no reason for this matter to concern you. Am I making myself clear? From what we've gathered, the influence of the Stellaron can still be contained. If we can locate it in time and contain it, it's possible that we can restore any space and any individuals affected by the corrosion. We have experience in preventing Stellaron disasters, and we've only come here to lend you that experience. I've said this and I'll say it again. This is an internal affair of the Sienjo Alliance, and there is no need for the Astral Express to get involved. I decided to arrange a meeting with you as a gesture of respect, but my decision is final. Uh, but... Never mind, Mr. Yang. If the Sienjo Alliance say they can handle it, then we're wasting our breath. Let's go. I'm afraid that's impossible. Huh? And what's that supposed to mean? It's only been a few days since the presence of a Stellaron was detected on the Law Fu. Starskiff Haven has been under full lockdown. No one has been permitted to leave. How did you come to know of the incident? And what led you to conclude that it was linked to a Stellaron? Oh boy, we're we gonna be one yet again. I acquired the access history of Starskiff Haven. Not long ago, someone hacked into the system and opened the Jade Gate. Nope. Before guiding you, the Astral Express, into our territory. Okay, thank you, Nep. The hacker was skillful and even taunted us with her seal. Her name is Silverwolf, a member of the Stellaron Hunters. What say you in your defense? You are forbidden from leaving the Skyfaring Commission until the aforementioned questions have been investigated. Don't be too harsh, Yukong. If this gets out, the whole galaxy will think the Alliance has forgotten how to treat our guests. Oh, hey, Shino. General Jingyuan. It's very unlikely that the Express has joined forces with the Stellaron Hunters. They are mortal enemies, after all. Really? Apologies for interrupting your meeting. My name is Jing Yuan. I'm the general of the Cloud Knights here on the Law Fu. General, this is an internal affair for the Law Fu. I fully agree with you, Helm Master Yu Kong. This is indeed an internal affair. I am sorry, guests of the Astral Express. It is true that there is a Stellaron on the Law Fu, but I'm afraid I cannot accept your kind offer to help resolve the issue. This is a Xianzhou matter, and it is our responsibility to handle it. Of course, it would be inappropriate of me to let you return without something to show for it. 
While I cannot accept your help with regard to the Stellaron, I do have a favor to ask. Please, after you. She doesn't like this. The Astral Express. I must confess that the train's reputation precedes it, such that it is often close to my thoughts. How delightful to come face to face with its passengers. It's an honor to meet you, General. Uh, may I ask what the favor you spoke of is? Ah, a matter that requires capable people such as yourselves. We captured a member of the Stellaron Hunters a few days ago, who goes by the name of Blade. During our investigation, the Divination Commission, the department in charge of intelligence processing, intercepted a transmission sent out by his accomplice, Kafka. Oh he boy. managed to hide aboard the ship. As for where that transmission was destined... I guess we have to hunt down Kaka and Gadget Father. I have some knowledge of your relationship with the Stellaron Hunters. The Divination Commission is convinced that you made an alliance with them. <laughs> I say that's impossible. The crew of the Astral Express are honorable people whose valiant deeds are lauded across the universe. There must have been a misunderstanding. As such, I came to the conclusion that the communication must have been an attempt by the Stellaron Hunters to sow dissent between us. We can handle the Stellaron, but it will take time and will require the bulk of the Cloud Knights on the ship. And it's this Kafka that concerns me. The longer she stays on the ship, the bigger the threat she will pose. Since the Stellaron Hunters lured you to our ship, we shall move with the current. You are hereby authorized to do as you deem fit on the Lofu, with the goal of bringing Kafka out of the shadows and under our control. Okay, but except for the last one, we're gonna find Kafka and then we're gonna keep her. And from what I saw, the Lexi is gonna come next update on 1.2, so I'm gonna, I better save her. Doing so would clear the misunderstanding between us, reveal the true intentions of the Stellaron Hunters, and help us understand their connection to the Stellaron Burst. What say you, my astral guests? Hmm. What do you think? <laughs> of course you do. You can be strangers and simply walk away. But I feel you wish to help the Sienjo. The Lofu never fails to reward that which is given. Okay. Wonderful. It's a deal then. I shall notify Yu Kong that all intel is to be shared with you, and that our best personnel are to aid you in your search. If there is anything the Skyfaring Commission or the Cloud Knights can do for you during your stay, don't hesitate to make it known. I've heard of you. The Alliance is very interested in the Astral Express. Blade is wanted by both the Corporation and the Alliance. I'm afraid I cannot comment on his file. There are five known members of the Stellaron Hunters. Elio is their leader, but always stays behind the scenes. Most of the operations are led by Kafka. Had the Divination Commission not intercepted her encrypted transmission, she would have remained undetected for much longer. Bring her to us. Hmm. Ordinary means may prove futile when it comes to this individual. But 
The Divination Commission has ways of... <laughs> Don't misunderstand me. The Sienjo does not engage in torture. Retrieving intel does not necessarily involve the use of violence. In any case, you can deliver her directly to us. Once we learn something, I will share every piece of information with you. If things go as planned, I would love to find the time to sit with all of you and hear about your experiences among the stars. My responsibilities to the Xianzhou have meant that I haven't had the chance to travel in many years. We had heard nothing of the Express for a long time. It is heartening to learn of its continued journey along that starward track. I have other matters to attend to. Goodbye for now. See, that is voice acting. If I didn't know that was Sinon's VA, I didn't know it. Okay, where to go? Oh, hey, well. And hey, Fox. Ooh, paper. Don't mind if I collect it. Hmm. I think we only scratched the surface of this General Jing Yuan. I don't know about strange, but my gut tells me something is off. Hmm. Ah, that's it. A minor detail, but curious. He avoided talking about Blade. Since the Cloud Knights have already captured a Stellaron Hunter, why not use him to get to Kafka? Huh? Why rely on us? The Sienjo is reluctant to involve outsiders in the Stellaron disaster, so why is it so keen on letting us capture a Stellaron Hunter? Yes. The only sensible conclusion I can draw is that Blade had already escaped when Jing Yuan spoke to us, provided they even captured him in the first place. Therefore, given our connection to Kafka, we represent the only way of luring the Stellaron hunters in. So That's we are the why he asked for our help. He didn't want to let anyone else find out that Blade had already escaped. Now that we've figured that out, perhaps we can get closer to the core of what's happening here. Oh, hey, Shivan. What do you make of this, Qing Yuan? I don't know why, but I can only tell who's gonna choose this. You think everyone's suspicious. Though they do say some girls have a sixth sense. He's much easier to talk to than that Yukong. Their attitudes are so different. Maybe that's why she's only a helm master and he's a general. I don't think she will like that comment if he, if she hear you. Master Diviner, you heard our discussion. What do you make of it? What do I make of it? The way of heaven is apparent, but the heart of humanity is often deceptive. Are you asking me to divine their true intentions? She sounds familiar. And she's kind of get that we kind of saw Diesel of, of her. But yeah, now he's ready to new story to me now. Kind of. That won't be necessary. The crew has nothing to do with the incident. Of that, I am almost certain. It isn't their intentions that trouble me. All I want is for them to lure out the one we're after. Wasn't that my idea, General? Indeed. Your counsel has always been a great help to me. 
You may use your discretion on the matters ahead of us. <laughs> Why don't you retire early and I use my discretion full time? <laughs> it is still too soon, unfortunately. If something goes wrong, you'll need a general to take the blame. How could I simply walk away and put you at such risk? If you'd brought me that blade earlier, none of this would have been necessary. Wait, what are you up to exactly? <gasps> Jinyuan, did you let him escape on purpose? Really? Me? <laughs> I had no idea he might escape. Unlike you, my gaze never travels beyond the horizon. I take full responsibility. The Cloud Knights failed in their duty. I can understand. There's a lot to take care of on the Sinjo. You are bound to miss something. Thank goodness I'm here. On that note, perhaps it's about time you finally nominate me as your successor when the Six Charioteers next convene. Yes, yes, yes. I have to go now. I'll leave this in your overwhelmingly capable hands, Fushen. <sighs> there are three things in the world that I can't seem to rid myself of. The troubles of the Sienjo, the papers on my desk, and the weeds in my garden. General, Diviner Fu wants the General's position for herself. Everyone knows that. She is very capable, but her intellect is burdened by a quick temper. I'll retire when she's achieved a better balance. This Stellaron thing is easy. Blade escaped. Now we gotta go get him. Just say the word, and I'll solve this in a flash. I can understand your impatience, and I know you want to prove yourself. Now is not the time. If you truly wish to become sword champion, you shouldn't be running around brandishing your sword at people, especially not a major criminal. You think I'd lose to Blade? I'm saying you need to have patience, Yanqing. Governing Xianzhou is different from a sword fight. The only way to build momentum is to work slowly. Besides, we still don't know who's really moving the chess pieces. There is something we must take care of before making our next move. As long as it remains unresolved, we're at a stalemate. That something is the Stellaron. How did it manage to bypass the Skyfaring Commission's inspections and the Divination Commission's predictions? Where is it now? I say we bring those two Stellaron hunters before Diviner Fu. She'll get an answer out of them in no time. I've asked our friends from the Express to take care of that for us. Worry not, you'll have your moment when the current stalemate is broken. You are my most trusted aide. And there are some things that I would only assign to you. Speaking of which, Yang Ching. <sighs> that boy. I suppose it is my fault. I should have given him an opportunity already. A sharp sword can't stay sheathed forever. <laughs> my fear is that this might prove too big a setback. Bigger than his exuberance. <laughs> 